an opportunity to join ETH, Department of Mathematics, as a professor who only knocks once on your door. So at that time I said, yeah, let's go. I was officially appointed by the Bundesrat still, uh, and I started my professorship here. The title of my, of my uh, farewell lecture has sort of two components. One component is living with risk. And of course, I'm, I'm here uh, appointed as professor of insurance mathematics. And so living with risk, uh, studying risk and see how risk and insurance play an important role for society. And so it's clear it, it belongs to the, the heart of my professorship. But beyond that, you have two, two dates in the title. The first date in the title of my talk is the 31st of January 1953. And the second date is uh, 11th of September 2001, 9-11, very famous time. Of course, the real importance is that the night of the 31st of January to the 1st of February 1953, there was a, a, a catastrophic flood in the southwest Holland, killing more than 1,800 people. And so the whole construction of dikes and protection uh, from government for the Dutch population became a major, major issue in the construction of dikes, the famous Delta project. Yes. And so I wrote several books, which are in my library here, on modeling extremes. I was invited by a, a, a conference organizer to give exactly that morning uh, a talk for an international conference in the North Tower, I think it's one six, one seven floor. The planes hit about 10 floors below that. So if I would have accepted, I would have died because all the, all the participants of the company, of the, of the, uh, the conference were already there about, in total, around 80 people. They, of course, they died. So one particular event uh, during my time as professor here uh, uh, at ETH, I'm particularly found, found, uh, fond of is the, uh, uh, the start of, of Risk Club on the 7th of October 1994. This was together with my colleague Hans Jakob Lutti, who at that time was a professor of operational research at IFOR in our department. And so then one day we organized a, a very interesting meeting where we came together with risk officers from the, the three main banks in those days and us from the um, uh, ETH. And so by the end of the day, we had about four or five topics in the area of quantitative risk management, which the banks and we agreed on. This is a kind of research we also do together to be open to all participants. And that's why we introduced the word pre-competitive research. So that was the start of Risk Club. It has been, uh, I mean, several countries have tried to copy Risk Club. It, it created a very interesting atmosphere of collaboration between industry and uh, uh, academia. And I think in my mind, it became a blueprint of how one should do it. Uh, when one retires, when one's emeritus status, I think it's important that we have a bit more time free also for my family, my wife, children, grandchildren. I have now agreed with the school to get the, still to be involved in a kind of mandate to uh, follow up some research and contact with Risk Lab as well as Risk Center in what I would refer to as the, uh, the public communication and uh, understanding of risk. I think this is an area where I can bring in some of my mathematical research, but especially where I can bring in a lot of my experience in the field. And so with these things, uh, I'm sure I will be still uh, fairly busy going forward.